Let's do this. How did I lose on the second click? Oh, check out that frame rate. Hey guys, Crazy Ken here. Just a quick thing. I'm sorry that I didn't get this tech video log out earlier. I really wanted to, but I was swamped with producing Vintage Apple Vault, which is a new and very fun Computer Clan show. So if you have not checked it out yet, I highly recommend watching it after you watch this episode or watch it right now. I don't care. But anyway, that's what I was wrapped up in. Thanks for being patient. Check it out when you can and enjoy the episode. Hey guys, how are you all doing? Really? That's just great. You know, I'm not doing so great because it's kind of rainy outside, so I thought I'd just stay inside and experiment with this, but it's pouring like crazy, and it's storming, and I can hear it 10 stories underground. You didn't think that'd be possible because we're so far underground. Hey, shut up out there! Oh, hey, I guess being cursed gives me the power to command the elements. That's pretty cool. I should probably consult a physician. Anyway, so while I'm inside, I thought, you know, let's do a little experiment. Let's um, bust out the old beta computer again and um, put a clock on it. No, that's not actually what I wanted to do. I have to uh, unlock the thing. <laughs> I'm on Zorn OS and I got locked out because it went into sleep mode. Uh, let me type in my super secret password. I saw an article on The Verge recently thanks to Tom Warren. And I found this nifty little application, which you can actually run on Linux. In a way, it's like an emulator for Windows 95. So I thought, how cool would it be to run Windows 95 on Zorn OS Linux on a Mac? That is like three layers of what the frick? That stuff shouldn't be together in an operating system sandwich, right? Enter the password for the key ring. Uh, what? How about you, um, how about you piss off? How about that? Nope, that wasn't actually the password. How about you piss on? Okay, there we go. So we're on GitHub now, and we're gonna take a look at this Windows 95 emulator. Oh, I already broke it. Okay, hang on. I can fix this. I do need to apologize in advance for the moray pattern on the screen, and if you didn't know that's what that's called, you learned a new word. Oh, don't dim out on me, you lazy pile of... Anyway, let's take a look. Windows 95 version 1.3. Downloads for Mac OS, never heard of it. Downloads for Windows, never heard of it. Downloads for Linux, ah, the only operating system I've ever heard of in my life. Do we want a RPM or do we want a DAB? Well, I actually don't know. Is Zorn, Zorn OS is based on Ubuntu, right? So that's based on Debian. <laughs> oh man. This type of file can harm your computer. No way. I don't think I need to worry about Windows 95 harming my computer. I'm going to keep it. All right, let's open it up. And what have we here? A window with nothing in it because it's loading. I should stop being so condescending to the loading meter. It's just trying to do its job. Okay, um, well, we've been here for about like, I don't know, 15 hours and we're still waiting. I'm just gonna minimize Chromium over there. By the way, uh, yes, this is a newer HP display that I don't think I've used on the show before. This was one of the various gadgets that was given away along with the Chromebook and those Lenovo notebooks. If you haven't seen those episodes, I highly recommend checking them out. But yeah, there was this place just getting rid of a bunch of them and uh, it's like, yeah, I'll take them off your hands. Okay, Windows 95, Windows 95 in an app. I am sorry. Oh, okay. Authentication required. All right. My password is all dots. Very secure. They'll never see it coming. But yes, I would like to visit the website, please. Uh, website. Uh, website. Website. Okay. Never mind. You don't want. You don't want to work. That's okay. Let's go to the old search. And yes, I believe this is running inside of Electron. Okay, so we have what looks like the emulator main menu. This is coming along swimmingly. Let's just take a look at the options here quick. Toggle full screen, we should probably do that. Send control out delete, we'll probably have to do that a lot. And minimize, 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 minimize. Okay, uh, credits, actually yes, I would love to know the people behind this. Windows 95 credits. This app was made possible by three major engineering efforts. Yes, there's Electron by the Electron maintainers. V86 by Fabian Hemmer, and Windows 95 by Microsoft, really? Uh, let's do uh, F11, oh sorry, that's my volume control. We need function F11, uh, there we go. Ooh, that looks pretty. And I'm gonna hide the uh, disk activity thing here. Okay, we can insert a floppy disk. Well, this is pretty sweet. All right, let's boot her up. 
And bon appetit! Here we are in Windows 95. I'm Felix, the maker of this dumb little thing. Felix, there's no such thing as a dumb little thing. There he is on Twitter, Felix Rise Riseberg. Riesberg or Riseberg? It's one of them. I'll just bigify that so you can see that more. Yes, well thank you so much Felix for providing me with this entertainment on this stormy day. So, let's uh, hop around Windows 95. I entered the Windows world way after this. When, 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 when 95 came out, I was a Macintosh user, but then I switched to Windows and Millennium Edition, which was a huge mistake. <laughs> uh, Millennium Edition was pretty rocky. Uh, 2000 probably would have been a better move, but ME was the consumer thing. But anyway, um, so if uh, I understand correctly, uh, briefly on the... The Verge article, I kind of just skimmed through it because I wanted to save all these moments for you awesome techies. My, one of my understandings is that Internet Exploder does not want to work. But we're going to try it. Now, in the system tray down here, okay, we have the clock. Uh, trust me, it is not 6.14 a.m. I would be asleep if it was. Oh, when it, when Internet Explorer cannot open the Internet site. AOL.com. Okay, that's great. Uh, what's the system tray icon here? Let's see. That was the display properties menu. If I could change the resolution of this thing, that'd be freaking awesome. This is a 1400 by 900? Oh yeah, it was a little slider, that's right. Um, okay, I don't have, okay, so I don't have that there. Um, let's cancel that. I love how the screen takes forever to paint. I don't think a true Windows 95 PC would be that crummy, I hope. Let's see, the resolution of this display, I'm looking for 1440 by 900, I ain't seeing that. C drive, Windows, system, blank dot htm. Good old toolbars, look at that. This is a Internet Explorer, no, not help topics. Why did I click that? I meant to click about Internet Explorer. Uh, version three, yes. Let's get rid of this horrid wallpaper. Oh my gosh, I, I wanna barf. Let's try to figure this out. So, um, patterns are here, but wallpapers are here. I'm not 100% sure of the difference because uh, this kind of predates my Windows experience. Oh yeah, this is the old the old setup background. Yeah, I remember. Oh, dude, we got to keep it at that. Look at all that dithering. Isn't it beautiful? Just mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. This is delicious. I love this. We're gonna keep it at that. Screensaver. Okay, what screensavers were included with Windows ninety five? None. That is probably my favorite screensaver. The flower box. Oh, check out that frame rate. We are in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. I remember always being like at my elementary school and like when the teacher wouldn't touch their PC for a while, I, it would always be like this. I'm just getting like elementary school flashbacks. Oh, the 3D maze. Let's preview that. Totally melt the system. I'm really excited for this. Oh. <laughs> Sit back, get a bucket of popcorn because we are gonna be watching this thing render for the next 12 millennia. Yeah, oh. All right, well, um, we're not we're not stopping until we get to that smiley face, so. Sit, sit tight. Is there a way to change like the CPU performance in this thing? Because this is redonkulous. That's not a word I should be saying anymore. Okay, we're gonna have to abort mission. Um, abort mission, hourglass, yes. Let's get out of there. That's cool, um, it's performing like shit. So let's figure out what we can do here. Um, function F11, oh, no, I gotta do escape, function F11. Okay, so machine, okay, that's not what I want. I wanna see if there's like any, I'll see developer tools maybe. Oh, this is just running inside, oh, it's an electron app, duh, yeah. Never mind. CPU speed. Can I like adjust the speed when we're booted up? Because oh my gosh, it's slow. Yeah, I don't see any other options to change stuff. Oh yeah, here's Felix. This is exactly who we were talking about. Well, good job, Felix. Well, thank you very much for giving me something to do today. All right, well, we're gonna boot her back up. I'm gonna keep this little status thing at the top now. CPU speed is at 4,500. That's fascinating. Yeah, if only we could like make it faster. Also sound, I cannot get sound to work either. So I guess there's no sound in this. I think we're stuck. I think it locked up. Let's try that again. There we go. Microsoft Internet Explorer. We didn't get that last time. That's probably because when you download it, it's set to like resume from like a sleep state or some bullshit. I'm just making this up as I go, honestly. But yes, we have the beautiful startup screen now. Oh, I just pressed escape right when that disappeared. Did I break it? I was trying to unlock my mouse cursor. Oh no, 
I broke everything again. Don't do this to me, man. Don't toy with my heart. There we go. That's what I want. Yeah! Oh, no! Oh. Ha! Huh, funny. I, um... Crap. I have no uh, keyboard control. It's gonna boot into safe mode. No. I can't. I can't control the computer. It's booting into safe mode without my consent. When in doubt, erase everything and start over. Okay, I clicked the button. Hopefully that's what it did. Yay! I win! Actually, I'll play a little solitaire now. Okay, ooh, ace. All right, we'll just put you right there. And uh, flip you around right there. Well, we need a we need a two, so we gotta let's see. We got a ooh, we can put an eight right there. That's very nice, very nice. Uh, let's see. Oh, I wish that was a red ten. Ooh, bummer, bummer, bummer. But we can move this nine over here like that. Oh wait, no, we can't because you need a. Oh, that's right. I suck at solitaire. Um, let's see. You flip the three cards. Oh, we got an eight. Well, that's kind of useless right now. Um, you know, maybe uh, the three. Nope, three can't go there. Well, this this is bullshit. Oh well, that that's nice. I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. All right, pretty good. I'm bored already. If I had nothing else to do, I'm sure it would be entertaining. Okay, let's go back to the control panel. No, nope, let's actually not do that. Anyway, let's keep exploring. Here's the C drive. Oh, here's the old file explorer. Let's take a, oh, wait, it was called the explorer, sorry. Yep, good old, good old toolbar there. Oh, you know, the painting is starting to really steam my beans. Uh, yes, the good old, toolbar where everything was in blocks. Let's just take a moment to appreciate how far we've come from interfaces like this with what we have nowadays. Developers and designers have worked very hard. So let's just keep that in mind. And remember that when our computers give us troubles, we could always think, hmm, at least we're not back in 1995. But hey, I mean, that's pretty cool. It took the Finder like until 2001 to get a freaking toolbar. And that was through like a $425 million acquisition from Steve Jobs' other company. Dot Trashes. Now, isn't, is that a, I'm not used to seeing that on Windows. I'm used to seeing that on like, like Unix systems. Doom? Like, the game? Okay, so we have an undo button, we have a delete button, all that good stuff. We got to use this to look at our tree here and go back. But yeah, because like, I thought, you know, they had a recycle bin here. So, Dot Trashes, that's, I thought, I usually see that like on Unix systems, right? Dot FS event SD. Oh yeah, this is definitely leftover stuff from a Unix system or something. No file in Windows would have the daemon suffix. That's not a that's not a Windows thing. I'm pretty sure it's not. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's very like Unixy, Nixy looking stuff. <laughs> What's in the fun folder? I'm excited. Ooh, the fun pack demos. Uh, okay, well. Oh, that's great. Um, Alt F4. Oh shit, I just closed the whole electron. Oh, mother trucker on a bicycle. Okay, we're gonna try that again. Okay, so apparently Alt F4 inside of Windows just shuts everything down. Good, now we know this. Oh, f How do we get out of here? Oh, fun pack properties. That's not very fun, is it? How come I can't open the fun pack? It just opens the frickin' properties. Well, I don't give a shit anymore. Get out of here. Games! Okay, something's not right. Something is not... What the shit? That's not what double-clicking is supposed to... You know, f*** it. Let's just use a right-click. There we go. Fun! Setup.exe. Now that is fun. Setup.exe is a lot of fun. Invaders, Minesweeper, Rogue, Snake, Tetris. Let's do Tetris. Mm, this is the best version of Tetris I've ever seen. Oh, that's that's fantastic right there. <laughs> okay, so it's the eternal struggle of glitch or feature, but anytime I'm trying to toggle out of full screen mode, I can't. I have to close the window and close the application. And when I open up this stuff, I just get stuck. So I can't seem to get out of full screen mode. So maybe I'll just stay in windowed mode. Yay, send control alt delete. Whatever this demo is, it's not working for me and uh, neither is my control alt delete. Oh. Oh, now that I did it twice, it's gonna reboot. Well, I suppose that's okay. Since there's no sound, I will imitate the startup sound once we are at the desktop. You know, in a couple years. 
That's all I've got. All right, well, my wallpaper got wiped out. My, wait a minute, is it in safe mode? It wiped out my wallpaper. The clock got reset. The resolution doesn't make sense. It doesn't say safe mode though. It usually has a little sign for that, right? Well, this is just fascinating. Oh, there's MS Paint on here? Oh, you bet your balls we're gonna be playing with that, but I wanna get my resolution and my wallpaper back, so I might have to reboot quick. But yes, we do have MS Paint. Mm -mm -mm, delicious. Back in the days where the color swatches were, were they always on the bottom? Heck if I remember. All right. Um, Yay! I blue screened it, huzzah! I wasn't sure if that was actually gonna work. You know what, screw you. We're gonna start over yet again. This video is just a lot of starting over. I'm gonna reset the machine and boom! All right, we're back to normal. Good gravy. No, I didn't wanna maximize you, you plebeian. Get out of here. Also, your solitaire can go suck a duck. Okay, we're gonna go to properties. It feels like I'm constantly inside of an install wizard. It's so fascinating. Okay. All right. Um, now my resolution is really weird because uh, I can't even see my mother freaking taskbar. Good gravy. Uh, yes. One thing I never really cared for because I don't like decking out a system too much, but one thing that is really impressive is how you can change the appearance of basically everything in that system. And this goes back like all the way to Windows 1. Like Windows 1 did this stuff. You can change all the colors of everything. So that was always kind of a cool thing. Something I never really cared for because again, I don't like to really like tweak the crap out of everything, but it's cool that you could change all these individual elements and you have all these themes, but you can also, you know, go in and adjust everything you want individually. So if you wanted a different theme, we press the button and there we go. Everything that was gray is now green and very calming. We can do rows. Now everything will be pink with a serif typeface. I think this is actually how my piano teacher had her Windows 95 machine. I remember it being very pink. She also had an Apple IIe, which she actually gave me. That was very nice. A uh, desert. I'm walking through a desert on a desktop with no name. The syllable count didn't really work. It actually looks all right. Well, let's keep it at that. Okay, enough dicking around. Now that we got the system working and it looks pretty, let's explore the programs. Okay, we have the Windows Explorer. We already did that crap. My, the MS-DOS prompt, we can maybe F with that later. We already tried Internet Explorer, no luck there. Uh, that's empty, that's great. Online services, well, you know, that's not gonna work if Internet Explorer won't work, I'm pretty sure. Uh, WordPad, phone dialer, paint. Yes, we do need to go back to paint. Let's see, multimedia. Minesweeper! Let's do it. I believe, if I can recall correctly, the first thing I ever did on Windows was play Minesweeper. Let's do this. <laughs> How did I lose on the second click? That no! Crazy Ken Curse, are you cursing Minesweeper now? Have you stooped that low? Yeah, don't answer me, you omniscient being you. All right, let's try that again. Ooh, things are intense now. Yeah, that was a tricky one. You know, I should have um, done the flag marks. That was really stupid, actually. Let me try that again. Three, okay, let's stay away from there. One, let's stay away from there. One, let's stay away from there. You son of a bitch. That's as good as it's gonna get. I never claim to be an expert. I do want to learn more about Minesweeper though. Microsoft Minesweeper, Windows 95. Copyright 1981. Really, did they develop this before Windows existed? Ah, Calculator, my favorite. This is what you guys are doing now. You're watching a crazy Ken play Calculator on the YouTubes. So I need to grab the binoculars and uh, I forgot how the reference goes. If you know what I'm getting at, just, I don't want to squirt anywhere. That will give away my location. Um, I need to call the MC and uh, Microsoft and divide them by one over X. And there you go. And that's how you win. Oh, check out that wireframe movement. Yeah, you kids today with your quartz composers and your WDMs. Like, this is what we had back then. We had a wireframe, you ungrateful bastards. 
Well, now we do have to go to MS Paint. It is the only remaining option. Um, I have a feeling this is gonna be very painful due to the fact that uh, nothing is really drawing very uh, efficiently in the system right now. So uh, you wanna click this button right here. So I'm gonna highlight that in red for you so you don't miss it. And I'm also gonna grab my pencil and I'm just gonna draw a right big arrow there so you know to click, that's, that's really bad. Can I make the line thicker? Uh, I fell asleep and now it's the year 2032, what happened? All right, let's log back into the system. Okay, so that was a uh, that was a beautiful experience. Uh, let's at least fill this in with something. How about that? And there we go. All right, let's Control F this bitch, and that's our bitmap. Woo! So we're gonna open up the MS DOS prompt. Oh shit! Well, it's broke, as you can clearly see. Well, it looks like I can't invoke any commands through uh, our good old command prompt, friend, because uh, that don't want to load either. Hmm. Bummer, man. I've done it before, and I'm gonna do it again. I'm just gonna blue screen it. Y'all listen up, here's a story about a little boy that lives in a blue world. Anyway, I'm calling this a win. This was a lot of fun. Go check out the application for yourself. It runs on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. And let me know what you think. Thanks for sticking with me. Catch the crazy and pass it on.